they do have a lot of kill threat there that I think Nygma needs to be very cautious of. The Ursa definitely gives them ways to kill and ramp up this pressure. They're going to be playing super hard around taking Roshan. Like, Aegis is the key part of their lineup, and if they fail, if Goon Squad are able to team fight around that Rosh pit and stop them from getting that objective, I think that's kind of their way to win this game. It's not super applicable here because he's still going for a helm. Okay, really, really only for the first like two or three minutes. And two start, I'm gonna get focused oh. down. Aqua. Aiming Kuroki now. I'm gonna get these bashes on him. Finally lands one, and that's Kuro dead. First blood for Aqua, and maybe another one. They've got the penitence for that bonus attack speed, giving even more bashes to the faceless void. Just dive under tower. Get himself a double kill. In this lane. <laughs> MC has stolen the, the mana burn creep, and you can see this Peksu trying to chase it to steal it, but down at the bottom river, they've got a kill on Hansken, thanks to the DD of Sumail. And Limp, expending the coil defensively, did have an arcane rune when he used it, so it's not too bad. Has tried to make a rotation that has been stopped. This is your second in a row now. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw the chrono on, on mind control at this point. <laughs> Try and burst him down with the puck spells coming in. It's reasonably tanky on the Beastmaster, but I'll finally relieve some of that pressure. Back out of lane. They're gonna quickly go from a tier one top into top jungle into mid tier one as well. Radiant This is really where it's gonna test the metal of Goon Squad. Can they land their spells? Can they do the damage they need to? The coil on the solar guardian coming in with a chain stun. They kill the bat, and they will do just that. Kiss is now launched in towards Kuroki. And dying has the solar up to heal himself, and the catapult still clipping onto that tier one. But Goon Squad, they fight back perfectly, finding not one, not two, but three kills in his top lane. Hell yeah, what a good setup. This is just step one, this is the next, and after that, honestly, they're kind of chilling. They don't need to force the boss out of the map. Just play up here. So male, very aggressive. He's got the IO heal, but I don't think that's going to be enough. He does get the lasso off, and now the are working out. It will be enough to save it. Limp's Puck having to draw away. That's four charges forward. Gets the crit. Lands on Kuro. Take down the tombstone, but Miracle's now in. Back and forth here from Nygma as they poke and prod, but the Chrono is there onto the IO and the Ursa really came back into his own death. GH falls and Goon Squad. A triple kill on Aqua gonna get him an ultra. Takes down the Ursa as they defend their mid tier. The, the cooldowns are back up. We got Donald, we got Kisses. Let's go. Yeah. Back to normality for Nygma, putting Beastmaster on dying top, but you're right. Just catch him with the coil Kisses. Tear up with Flip and Hanskin and S4 there to secure another kill. Gotta do it now. Roshan below half HP and Miracle. Go to finish it off as they coil slam into the bat. Sumail getting picked off. But Roshan and Aegis claimed up by the Ursa while Mind Control a little stranded now. Caught out by the time dilation and the bashes of Aqua. Finding two core kills. Blue score not gonna be I'm gonna be too unhappy with that. Like, okay, you're also got Aegis, but we still have our team fidelities. We're still ready to chase. But Nygma are gonna take this opportunity where you know, we, we, we look at Goon Squad and they're reliant on all these long cooldown ultis and they need everyone together to actually fight back. As the Solar Guardian will save up Hanskin as tanky. Treads medallion drums bill keeps him alive and allows Aqua to get a two-man chrono. GH keeping Miracle alive and still has an Aegis for 40 seconds. Trying to turn a fight, but they've already lost MC and a two-man coil here from Limp. Forcing the relocate save out. That's gonna leave GH to the TP back down there and oh, no no, that's the relocate back top, wasn't it? He came down here with Miracle. Radiance middle tower. It's just Thunder Nigma attack. bouncing from one side of the map to the other, forcing things to be a little uncomfortable for Goon Squad. Until the relocate back, allowing S1 Aqua to actually strike into the heart of Nigma's ranks. So male BKB's up here with the Firefly going, but he needs Miracle with the damage of the bashes, he catches Aqua! The Void gets caught, Enigma, very quickly, jumping from top to bottom, down to bottom again, getting that 10x streak out of the hands of the Void. You know, TP Bank move themselves across the map because they've opened up this map for themselves. As they jump S4, the bash comes in from Miracle, a quick and easy one there with those Fury Swords stacking up. It's just that, you know, they're... They are ghosts. They're hiding in the trees, waiting for their moment to TV jump. Fortified. Now the Power Ranger TP is up top. 
Someone, one of them cancelled there. It looks like Kuroki just wanted to be the first and only one to come. Soul Rip to heal his own tomb as Lin and Aqua jump in and out with the Time Wolf and the Illusory Orb. Lasso's there on the Dawnbreaker though, and Beastmaster being soloed down by Aqua's Void. They've got Kisses landing into the Chrono as Miracle's struggling to stick on the target. He's been stunned and disabled since I have And Lin comes in with a double kill as Four moves in now towards Miracle's Ursa. Does still have the Aegis as his first life is about to be claimed, but he turns and fights. He bashes the Void. Aqua has to time walk away. Still a struggle to fight into this. Miracle Ursa. Looks to escape, and Paxu's gonna get caught on the tail end of the fight. Wait, if Miracle gets a bash here, is he gonna find Lim? Nah, the blink away. Cute you do not puck catch with a puck. <laughs> and if he wanted to go into an Axe as well. Ooh. 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 Chrono kisses, and Solar Guardian onto Miracle. Dead before he can enrage your BKB. Very nice. Aqua with a double kill up top. And a minute and a half left on that timer for Roshan, which perfectly coincides with the Chrono cooldown. Thirty seconds. Can't scout it with the orb. Miracle. He nearly got it done. S4 trying to get some of the pin, but mind control. He's gonna get demolished here by the Star Breaker. Aqua's in, snatches the Aegis. The face of Void grabs it under the nose of Enigma. Miracle is already enraged and BKB getting into the back lines, but Aqua is chasing down GH. The faceless Void aiming for two healing supports to zone them away. Gets the kill on GH. And S4, he is roared. Stop the Star Breaker, mind control, allowing Miracle to chase down the Dawnbreaker and get the damage he needed in. The turnaround from Aqua though with a chrono. Gets it onto the IO and the Earth. And down they go! GA's brought back for this, as did MC and Sumail, and they're just being shredded! Mind Control dies back, GA dies back, and Batrider's the only one left out on the map for Nigma. The ulti at their disposal, and they're gonna have to face a five man smoke from Nigma, jumping straight off the Hanskin. The Chrono goes three quarters side of the bubble, time locked up, Mind Control yields and will take it out. Miracle getting off the enrage, very tanky Ursa, but he's trying to get away. Aqua bash hit him, but a bash returns in kind onto the face of Void. First life gone. Mind control focused down by Limp with a DD puck now, though, and he's gone for 50 with no buyback available, while GH had to relocate back into the midst of Goon Squad. He's up for Miracle, but it's Chrono now, and they take down GH quickly. Miracle, it's his rotary spawn time, and they're dying in the mid lane. They've got two buybacks, but Goon Squad, yeah, they, they have to. They have to use them. They know how important this Roshan is. Oh my god. Got GH, but having Aegis makes up for that fact. And you've got Agadim's Refresher over on this Mind Control Beastmaster as Limp. Oh, they're trying to catch back over his bat with the answer in the back. The Hand of God and the Solar Guardian healing up Exu and they disarm the bear. Can't hit back into anyone, but they're really looking out by GH. Gives them the space they need. A takedown on Pexu with Sumail, focused by Limp, Kuroki down, and Mind Control falling, Goon Squad, another victory, they'll chase GH as well, the IO does get a bit of distance, but back into Hanskin's waiting arms, and a spotted Miracle, oh, but Chrono, I just needs another time for four, no, he'll just throw the Chrono in there, yeah, you've enraged yourself, but quickly surrounded by Goon Squad heroes, the horde of dire heroes here to take down the bear, and Miracle, first life gone, Careful, you got eight stacks on you. Misses the cookie. Dyer's Miracle BKB's up. I do have to be careful of the turnaround potential here. And the catch from the stuns of Aqua. We'll take down Miracle one more time. No way the bear can fight back. Oh, that's superb. A goon squad now with DD Void up on the high ground. Some mail is in there. Pops the link and drags the Void back in towards MC and another <laughs> lasso. Back in, but Aqua is getting drawn. He's just not dying. They've got Solar Guardian to heal him up now. And he is unkillable on this boy. Jumping back towards Tier 4s so and they've killed off another couple of Nigma heroes. Uncontrollable by back. Radiance Middle Tower. I don't see what they can do at this point. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. The coil? Busy BKB? Oh. So nice. It was a really cool idea though to refresh their coil, uh, to refresh their lasso and try and drag him into fountain. Yeah, tried his hardest. Sumail now getting bashed up. They pop a cheese to heal him, but it's not enough. Everybody dying here on the side of Nigma and Goon Squad lining up a game one victory. Can pair with Marana, but I'm also feeling bad now because the Spectre, you know, one of the best things she's good at is cancelling blinks at the start of a fight. In 
makes it hard for you to take a fight like that. You don't have to worry about that car. Yeah, we even saw that with a long duration arrow onto Miracle. Just unable to finish off the Spectre as GH kneels him up and S4 looking for the turnaround, but Desolate damage coming in, a hell bear juking around. I should be able to finish off this centaur with a few more hits. Go on with it with a shot. Kuroki lands it. Wiped out the tower. Now he's got it very far to survive. And Hanskin, with three leap charges and ten one charges, not a target, and they can dive on the tower. And Peksu, though, slowed down and stunned by some El Lash. Nice little freebie there for him. Aqua gonna have to time walk away. Luckily, there is no level six on mind control just yet. Regeneration. But uh, he's about to get black ball. Man, they're but trying to go for this kill. He's not gonna get black hole up in time though, is he? The damage from the Zeus. It's more than enough. So bring MC down. The limbs rotation working out this time. So the mid lane and then go to the side lane. Yeah, move on to S4. And you said he's got no protection against this magic damage. A ton of it from Samael as he's juking out that central stomp. Nice sidestep. Multiple times. Make sure S4 didn't have any real recalls. Never gonna stop. Like Samael said, six minutes in, hey, I'm ready. I'm gonna keep ganking. I've got a hood, I've got a black hole. Get in on top of that one. Born from Miracle and the stun from the split up connects. So Enigma bringing everybody down bottom to get a couple of kills. A double for Miracle off the back of that haunt. And it's limp. No way he can stick around. Just gonna have to let this, let this tier one down bottom fall. We've got, we've got our ultis. We'll fight around that. I mean, you gotta fight rich at some point. Good game squad. Long stomp into mid, doesn't hurt. Good arrow connecting onto Miracle. Doesn't have Aegis anymore, and that's him dead. Even with right. the heal of GH, he gets blown up by the Zeus. Okay, Chase is on now. Yeah, punish them, find more. GH tethers across the Sumail. Yeah, special on a carry. Oh, Sumail. He just blinks in aggressively. Gets the jump on the Chen. A lot of magic damage, though. Gonna blow the left right up. But now Aqua looking for the Chrono, but he doesn't want to land it just on Kuro. GH was trying to relocate, but didn't save some ale in time. So the one for one trade is going to be favoring Goon Squad so far. As it looks like Enigma just going to back themselves up and try and escape with, with the heroes they've got. And you see Aqua just really doesn't want a chrono of support. Maybe, maybe I'll go on Miracle, but S4 going to whiff out on his Centaur stop. Walks up high ground into Miracle, and they do kill off GH in the end. S4 put himself in harm's way, he needs the stampede to get away. Start to contest it, and now again, they're letting it go for free. Yeah, I don't know if they've got the time to combat this. Arrow gonna hit into the Centaur there as Pengsu focused down by Sumail, and Mind Control just jumps straight onto S4. Doesn't want to spend his black hole just on a Centaur, let Sumail do the stuns instead. Koro, with that last hit, was hit. Is under attack from this faceless but faceless is jumping in in some perfect case scenario he manages to force a, a relocate right with his with his shard jumping in and out so not just doing the same thing as mine when kuro just walks straight in mind control gets the black hole only on s4 but samael is in the back aiming for the chin aqua with a three-man chrono though it's time to go draft miracle has already blown up two in the back and the relocate out keeps nigma alive they are surviving as aqua's bkb started to wear out yeah, Sim towards high ground. Centaur and Chen both demolished as Nigma still full HP on everybody, ready to go high ground. And they will, and there's nothing that can stop them, especially. I mean, they've, they've tried and tested and pushed their limits this game 100%. You've seen that from Samael. They know that the only thing that really kills them is just a chain stun when he's out of position with no relocate. And Centaur's dead. There's no chronosphere, there's nothing stopping them from really ending this game. And Miracle is so tanky, he's starting in a basher, like... What are you really meant to do? Is it you have to just keep poking with this, this Zeus shot and then hope that you can do enough damage there? I think he's doing a fair amount. I feel starting to stack up. Nice four, though. Very ballsy blink aggressively into the midst of Nigma. Getting clipped by the split earth as well, but Sumail, he's so tanky, he goes up on Eternal Shroud, lands another stun, the split earths are all over the place. Hanskin's gonna get caught again by another one, burned by the Pulse Nova, and that's four. Stunned before he can land a stomp. So sad for this centaur to jump in and just get, get clipped by a stun. Rax now falling, and Nigma are chasing it towards Fountain. The Chen's being found. Nimbus is down. Sumail is fine with the IO to back him up. Plenty of sustain, and another whipped initiation from S4. Doesn't catch anybody. Aqua gonna rewind the time walk. Trying to bait anything out he can from Nigma here. Time to rage the bash. He gets caught with a bash from Miracle. Oh my god. Nobody 
My S4. He, he, sees, he sees the mail. He's like, ah! Yeah, probably time to run. The horn. Oh, chasing towards the left. They found the Zeus in the back. He throws Nimbus and Thunder God's Wrath, but that's it. Lights out for him. Hexu next on the menu. As Nigma steam roll over Goon Squad here. Right. <laughs> yeah, okay, you think you get him. Kill the Enchantress. And then what? The rest of Nigma rally around and heal and run. They relocate him. The Enchantress is out of there. And Sumail just jumps in the middle of all of them. They do get the Chrono landing onto Sumail. They'll blow up the left track or at least try to while the MC. Ooh. Blink into Chrono by accident. And he nearly whiffed the black hole, but he held on to it, so he will will still have it, but no BKB. And now the haunt in. Miracle knows he can play aggressively, and look at him shred! Oh my god, he didn't even need the black hole! Oh, Miracle! He just won me, he forced them! Bash, bash, bash! This kill damage is enough! A triple kill for Miracle! Moonshot, go into work! Oh, completely exposed. This four will buy back. Oh, yeah, buildings are falling at such a drastic rate. And then turn around as they dive fountain. Miracle and Samael in towards them. They will lose the ledge rank, but Miracle picks up another triple kill. 13, 1 and 9, and GG's called for Venno. Yeah, but uh, the point I wanted to look at was this game seems really difficult for Aqua. Yeah. Like you, you called it the chain stun the table have got you, know, you have a, a fissure with the shard you've got blink echo you've got silence from dp static storm from disruptor doom from doom which is enigma have this ability to pull back with a large cap they're gonna have full control of lane equilibrium and still chipping away at aqua under the tier one fissure damage from kuro and miracle there's no time off for two seconds they're trying to play around that fact he's got to back up now but he's dead he tried to place a tree and didn't time walk oh no he will respawn full HP and full mana and come back to lane, but I don't know, does he TP bot or is there something Goon Squad can do here to, to change? He just has Thunderstrike on him. They're trying to get in on top of Kuroki and maybe, maybe a kill here. He pops his stick for the time walk forward. Glimpse back's not going to do enough. To consider though, the, the whole try laning will mean that there is hopefully an XP deficit at some point. I like the support, either the supports will be under leveled or the, the core and the tri lane will be under leveled. It looks like Miracle is getting a lot of solo XP and GH and... Realizing this laning stage is going to be extended. Kuro bottom, Centaur stomped. Hexu looks like he's going to get himself another kill here. Might be dying yes. in the return and he misses oh. the impetus because of the blind from the Whirling Axes. GH going to close in, the further stacks for Miracle 11. Give him the attack speed he needs to bring her down. Okay, bot faces for like a one CS during that, okay? Oh, now he's been netted. One walk, glimpse back. Into the grasp of Miracle and the Thunderstrike giving the vision. Ah, the Moonlight Shadow not fast enough. A double for Miracle Bot. Even if it's like a dangerous area, if, well, actually, it's quite hard because he doesn't have max play boards. Mm. It's kind of the biggest issue because if he was to go bot, for example, you would just pop out there as a fight mid first. Ooh. Yeah. They're trying to catch him out. Glimpse uh -oh. them around the back in. Nice stun from GH, set up by the Disruptor. And now with the Spirit Siphon on Pexu, it looks like they're lining up for another kill. Chan trust nature's attendance, not enough to heal her through the burst. You're just gonna get money back anyway from Devour. That's the Yeah, pick at least in the mid lane, but now Limp. If he gets netted here, he's rooted. Limp is caught, tries to get away with more like Shadow. The reveal is there and available for Sumail to finish him off. While well, Miracle still has the battle trance if he even needs it. Slowed down a bit by the Venomancer. But Sumail's ghosts making short work of the rest of Goon Squad. While S4 shows, he's hunting GH. And Miracle will just turn around on him. Poison is going to be annoying. Oh, we're going to see TPs out. The battle trance are chasing the Enchantress. Hexu. He's going to try, try and turn here on Miracle. One shot misses again. He just can't land anything. Oh. Hexu is so sad. Put the wild wing up there. Yeah. GH and Miracle trying to defend this. My control having deja vu trapped in cogs and tagged by Gale. Those battles back and an echo slam there onto the wild wing and the enchantress. Not gonna net them a kill on her. Just a one for one trade, but like you said, good score, they get the job done. I still go on him though. Tagged up by the Gale and the Nova. Miracle arrowed now inside the car. Static Storm though from Kuro. Trying to turn back with 
Bit of team fight of his own, glimpsing the clockwork in towards them, but Hanskin surviving with the bottle charges through from limp. Up they do. Akwe is here all alone, and he was under this diet ward, and if he backs up, he'll still be there under vision. Just how, how do you start this? They need the range on the dude. Oh, they get it, they got the tree perfectly. Just walking straight in towards it. And in of an age. We're gonna find a bonus one here, it looks like Hanskin. Glimpse level three. Allow Samael to close the gap, even expanding Static Storm to make sure that can close in and kill off the clock. And the blink echo from GH finding the bonus. One after one, the Domino's tumble. Goon Squad losing three heroes in a row. Maybe still a little risky to go into Roshan as Nigma. He's just trying for his life out here. He's in so much danger, bro. Oh my god, yeah, they could just start with a static storm. He's gonna walk out of it, but the glimpse back, helped by the infernal blade, leads to chain stuns for days. <sighs> Nigma just so so great at executing these little ganks. Does have Hans gonna limp nearby? They're pinging this. Nigma wants to keep on chasing and they'll get the glimpse. Spotted the Murata with a little bit of vision. The hookshot back across up to the DP. Hans is just trying to delay the aggression from Nigma. The arrow will win. Some L turns with the Exo. Down goes the clockwork. And now Miracle's in. Shredding through the Enchantress. S4 in the grave as well. And Goon Squad, everybody six feet under. And Roshan wide open. Need this Murata BKB ASAP. My she needs to be scaling. She needs to be involved in these team fights. Now, looks like Goon Squad trying to force something here, but Aqua. He's just staying down bottom to farm. Miracle, tanked by the arrow. Left S4, still focusing, but the Blink Echo from DH delays the aggression from Goon Squad and allows Miracle to get back to high ground, slip away, but the damage still comes. Limp gets in there as Aqua arrives with the three-man Chrono, and maybe now, maybe now the damage of the Kuro, the arrow of the DP, they'll find some L and the chase forward from Goon Squad gets them a triple on Limp. <laughs> All the turnaround, the game, no longer fully favoring Enigma. Coming. Dice Aqua, silenced in the trees. I think he guess where he was, and I guess correctly, as S4 gets off his poison over, and the two-man chrono, but the BKBs are up. Enigma able to fight back with the Doom thrown in. I'll try and chase down Aqua's void. Yes, they lose Kuroki, but it's a big win here for Enigma. Stanic Storm's down, and it's all got the Echo Slam. It's a shot from Hanskin, catching GH, but he's in the midst of a creep wave. Pretty decent damage there, while Miracle chasing towards the Marauder. Sumail focusing in towards Clock will be able to pick up Hanskin, and a double kill for him comes out of it. Enigma, a triple for Sumail. Paxu shredded by Miracle. And Limp, we scouted by the Courier, no leaps remaining. Quite spread here from their triangle up towards a top river and a two man fisher with the shard. Allowing them to lock down the clock of the Enchantress. Can any field will try and hold her in place? Trolls focusing one, but Doom is being picked up on the other side. Chrono that comes from Aqua, locking Miracle in place, and the focus onto the troll. It's not going to come from everybody. It's the Moran and the Lloyd trying to batter into him. But Goon Squad, with that Radiant's fight, take down two heroes, delay Nigma's move. You know, they, they spend these big cooldowns. Nigma are now ready to go back again, right? They've got just a couple of seconds for Algy to, to re-arrive, come off cooldown. They pick up the clockwork here. They've got Aegis still in their hands for three minutes. And a doom down bottom on the Mirana means my control with the TPs in from Sumail and Miracle will catch out Limp. Gotcha. And Kuroki, well, he dies mid lane to Peksu, but no big deal. That's fine. It's just pause five. Good to get what you can. It, it's very scary. I think Goon Squad Whoa. have been playing really well. Okay, back to. Oh, oh, that's sad. Stuck around a little too long. Put his head out. Am I in the clear? No. No. I'm dead. Super dead. Same thing. I'm talking about Scotland. Yes.
Like save each other position well it's they're in a really good position right now and they're playing really well like the, the, the jump from aqua it just goes straight onto miracle physical down from lem gonna get doomed up with the auto but they lost the troll kuro chased into his own base now as his aqua boy the turn right from gh though with the echo slam finds at least the liberata flyback is going out and they went to try to defend their base they've lost mc though and some mail gets back to high ground is poisoned over Really making them suffer. Hops the Eon disc. And Goon Squad still holding Aegis, ready to go back up high ground. <laughs> the Bandolina, right? Well, we'll pick Marana. I thought it was going to be uh, maybe a bit scary for Goon Squad. They lost their Marana Courier, which had that Reaver on it, so no Satanic for them. It's a static storm from Kuro. It's well placed here. Aqua's jumped into it, but they've blown up some mail. They had the damage and the tankiness, of course, still holding Aegis, means they can keep on going. Glimpse him all year one, Kuro, but Aqua's gonna open up on your base now. And uh, the Aegis is expiring, so there is a chance. He's under tier fours. Oh, the cogs hold them in place. Mind control is about to die. Buyback is available, but Aqua's here with the Chrono One Miracle. Focus down the troll, refresh it up, and Aqua let it rip. Go for more, dive the fountain, find GH as well. Lincoln's pops and opens back. GH dead to the bashes of Aqua. Double kill for him, diving the fountain. He's got 15 seconds left on Aegis. But Nemo look down and out now. The tier four is being cracked, and Aqua. Reversing it, jumping forward, jumping back. Glyph already expended. And Goon Squad ready to take game three. Go for the barracks. Try and see if Nygma here maybe are holding a buyback on the troll or something like that. But there's the Mega Sumail. He's BKB'd up and he's run back, but the hook shot angles straight in towards him. Allows Aqua to make the jump and find another kill. This is over. She will have done it. They have. Incoming. They actually took him down. I mean, this was after the start of this game. How could you honestly have expected it would go this way? Well, upper brackets for bitches, isn't it? Rage in it, man. <laughs>